Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed, and today we're hiking all the way to Potato Chip Rock here in Poway, California. Yes, you guys, you heard that right. Today we are going to visit a rock that looks like a potato chip. I guess that is true once you use your imagination. Mm, yeah, I, I guess I can see it. The way to Potato Chip Rock is a very popular hiking trail for the challenge, the views, and of course the opportunity to take some cool and funny pictures. The goal for today is very simple, to hike all the way to Potato Chip Rock, take some cool pictures there, and overall just enjoy this beautiful day here in Poway, California. So if you guys are interested, come with me. All right, you guys, so right now we are located in the Lake Poway Recreation Center area. This is where the parking lot is located. There's bathrooms, there's water. You can also buy food and snacks. Anything you need for your hike or for fishing, you can find in there. So like I said, right here is the parking lot. As you can see, it's pretty big, but it fills up quickly. Right now it's about to be like 11 and it's already getting cool, as you can see. Very close to the lake and to the trail over there, you will see this like message board where you can see like any news or any information related to the park information such as park fees and also rules and regulations related to fishing when i read online it said that uh there's actually a park fee in order to get in right however today it is sunday and they didn't charge anything to us so i really don't know how that works as you start walking in the trail you'll see a map over here with instructions on how to get to the top of mount woodson as well as potato chip rocks we do still have wi-fi so if you don't want to feel lost you can check that too there's this little area over here where I see a lot of people fishing. I'm pretty sure you can rent boats. There's a lot of boats right there and that's so you can fish in the lake. There's also like a mini section over here where you see a lot of families and uh, they're also fishing right over here. This is crazy cool. It looks so open and so peaceful. Definitely a very relaxing activity if you're very close to San Diego. We're actually staying very close to downtown, I would say, and it only took about like 40 minutes to get here. It's not too far out of the way. Just as an FYI, you guys, this is a very popular spot and uh, we were looking online for recommendations on when to get here and they recommend you getting here like super early when the park opens which is around six or seven i can't remember we can see a lot of people a lot of families i could just imagine how potato chip rock is going to be there's going to be probably long lines in order to take a picture i'm sure it'll be fine but just so you know it's better to come here early the views are already great and we just started hiking guys i can imagine what it's going to look once we're a little bit higher when i see families i'm pretty sure they don't go all the way to the top of the mountain i don't even know if i want to do that today i think they just go to potato chip rock and then they come back i don't know how long that is but it's definitely shorter than going all the way to the top i also see a lot of friends there's a lot of people coming with their friends and it's pretty chill like people talking and stuff having fun i think this is a great group activity just before the trail starts getting real there's two bathrooms two portable restrooms right here so if you need to go make sure to go before you start the hard part i don't know if the harder part but the longer part is what i mean because you never know if there's going to be more of these up there so just in case you'll see a lot of people walking or running with their dogs that's another thing you can do here you can bring your furry friends you'll also see some benches on the side so if you need a quick pit stop drink some water get some snacks you have those available for you this is not potato chip rock yet but i see people climbing up here to take pictures so we're definitely gonna do that as well up we go check this out you guys i just got on top of this rock right here and the views from here are incredible check that out i'm gonna go around to show you a little bit of the lake i don't know if you can actually see it but the lake is this way i think if we continue on lake poway trail i think it's gonna take us over this hill and 
we're gonna keep going that way. Let's head down and back on the trail. I find it so crazy how there's some rocks that are just hanging. You can clearly see them like on the edge. So you think that like they're ready to fall like at any moment. If it rains just a little bit more, it could just like slide down. On the side, you'll see like a bunch of other rocks and a lot of them look like they're in the same kind of situation where they're like all the way to the edge. I can imagine just one of those huge rocks just sliding and coming down. That'd be so scary. I don't know if I mentioned this at the beginning, but it's strongly recommended to bring like a cap, put on sunscreen, and also bring some water. Right now, we're making a short pit stop to get some water in our system because it really gets to you the altitude, I guess, and the heat. Strongly recommend to bring all of those things, plus a lot of water. <sighs> Refreshing. Check out this rock, you guys. It's freaking humongous. But check these out. Don't they look even bigger than this one? I think so. Right now we just arrived at this like little resting spot. There's some like benches here in the back. This is a view that you get from the resting spot. So pretty cool I would say. Okay guys, a little update, check it out, we're almost there, I can see all the people there in line already. So we just made it here you guys and there's a lot of people, my girlfriend is already on the line and uh, there's another section here where people take pictures, this is my position. So that's the line right there and then that's where people take the picture. In order to come down, they have to come through this way. If you guys decide to come here and take pictures, just be careful, you don't want to fall down on your face or something. I still have to get my own picture and that's gonna be in like 30 minutes or something. The hike itself is like an hour and a half, but then you also have to think how long you're gonna spend here waiting for your picture. Check it out you guys, some people get all the way to the edge. That's kind of scary, don't you think? I'm just gonna give you a little panorama view so you see everyone that's here. And they're coming from both sides, so people come from this path over here and then other people come from this side. That's where we came from. Okay, you guys, it's my turn to get on this line and uh, my girlfriend's gonna be taking video of me so that I can get that after. So the line starts kind of like here, down here, but there's like another line on top of this rock right here. In order to get to the top of this rock, you kind of have to free solo this section right here. Let's do this thing. All right, you guys, so I just made it to the top. Now we just have to wait this line just for a few more minutes, but we're almost there. So what people usually do is they kind of like crawl down there in order to get to the other side, but I think I'm just gonna go for it and jump to the other side. All right, so let's do this, guys. And my girlfriend's over there. She's gonna take our picture. All right, you guys, it's our turn. The thing to do here is take a picture. So we're just gonna turn and say cheese to my girlfriend and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and give you like a 360 degree view so you can see how intense the view is it's crazy let me take a few pictures so you kind of lean like that and take pictures just like this I'm not gonna hold off the line any longer so I'm just gonna start heading down but isn't it crazy check out this amazing view it's insane let's head back down oh my goodness you guys that was intense all right you guys we got our picture we got what we came here for now we have to go all the way back to where we started doesn't that thing look like it's about to break you guys a funny thing about this place is that one day on april fools the mayor of this city of Poway, he posted a picture of potato chip rock breaking and uh, everyone believed it and it was just like a huge thing but honestly it does look like it can be broken and another cool thing you guys is that there were a lot of people from many different places in the world of course most of them from the US we're from San Francisco there were people from Arizona Colorado and then there were people from overseas I think I saw a mother and her child from Germany or something and then there were a lot of people from Korea and Japan so pretty cool that everyone makes their way here just to take a picture with a rock we're coming down 
going fast you guys but still i think rain is starting to come down we need to start heading faster just so that we don't get stuck in the rain so we're gonna try to be a little bit faster and make our way back to the beginning Oh my goodness you guys, my feet are hurting so bad, but after a very, very long and tiresome walk, we're back to where we started. Oh, it was a very long day you guys, I'm not even gonna lie, I don't think we were expecting this at all. But anyways you guys, from here I say goodbye, it was so fun sharing this experience with you guys, hopefully you guys think the same. If you guys do, I'm gonna ask you to please support the channel by clicking the like button and subscribing to my channel if you want to see more interesting and cool travel videos just like this one. Always remember to be kind, have an open mind, I'll see you next time.